five. How many more? Four or five. Try 22. What? Are you kidding me? Do I look like it? Sixth floor, can I help you? You'll have to speak up, please. Yes, Dr. Wexler's here, but she's no, busy. No, it's OK. I'll take it, Colleen. Oh, OK. Dr. I'll just file these. Yeah, thanks. Dr. Wexler, how was Ricky? Sorry to call it work, but uh, I'm sick. I, I, okay, okay what, what's happening? What are your symptoms? Headaches. I'm dizzy. Everything's going black. Okay, you're you're at home, right? I'm gonna call 911. No, 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 no. Please just come, just Ricky? Ricky, what happened? Can you hear me? Ricky! Ricky, oh, thank God. What happened? Oh, slow down. Look, I'm, I'm OK, all right? You passed out. Come here. Let me take a look at you. Sit down. Look, I'm sorry. I kind of collapsed, but I'm OK. Well, nobody just kind of collapses. Any pain? Karen, I I'm fine, all right? I'll be the judge of that. You know, I think that maybe I'm having some sort of reaction to that, that bump you gave me. With the skillet? Oh, that was weeks ago. If you were going to have a reaction, you would have had it a lot sooner. Well, anyway, at any rate, I feel a lot better now that you're here. You know, I kind of feel like having a beer. You want one? A beer? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of thirsty. You know, this is, uh, starting to sound a lot worse than I thought. Just because I'm thirsty? I want a beer? Post-trauma alcohol cravings on top of cranial injuries. You know, I haven't seen this in a while, but, uh, but what? What do you... We better take you in to run some tests, although you should know that uh, some of them are pretty invasive. W invasive? What? In uh, you know, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So an injury like yours, Ricky, I mean, <laughs> you, you need CAT scans, Wait, 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 X-rays. Karen, you really don't have to do that. I'm, oh, I'm... I think I do. In fact, I think you need a brain scan so I can see if you even have one, you idiot. Well, what were you thinking, Ricky? You dragged me here from the hospital, and you're faking? Look, Karen, I I'm sorry, OK? I know. Look, Karen, I missed you, OK? And I was trying to figure out a way to see you. Sorry. No, no, it's not OK. I you're lonely for Casey because she's gone, and you chose me as a replacement? <sighs> Karen, I'm... I work in a hospital, Ricky, where people are really sick. I said I'm sorry. Oh, and not to mention that Frank is going nuts on me. Kevin Collins has disappeared into nowhere. Allison's in jail for killing him. And my best friend just died a few weeks ago. So what kind of adolescent, insensitive moron? I'm sorry, OK? I am so sorry. You know what? I don't have the time or the energy for this. Karen, Karen, please, stop. Now what? Dr. Wexler. Hey, Colleen. No, everything's fine. False alarm. Just some messed up kid playing a stupid prank. What? Miss Hastings said what? OK, well, tell her for me that she can't skip her meds just because she feels like it, and tell Mr. Schneider that he'll probably be going home tomorrow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Colleen. I'll see you in a few. So I guess you're uh, kind of in a hurry, huh? Oh, thanks to you. I'll be working all night. I'm really sorry. I know that what I did was dumb. And now you're blocking the door. Won't you at least accept my apology? I mean, maybe we can talk this out. You know, after what you did tonight, I'm in no mood to talk or... Uh... You're not going to even uh, shake my hand? Oh, when did it get so warm in here? I feels fine to me. I mean, uh, if you want, I'll, I'll open the window. Or not. Where do you think you're going? Hmm? I was just going to go. God, Karen. You're so incredible. It's okay. You know, I, I, I think you better leave now. I don't think so. What? This is my place. Oh, uh, yeah, well, uh, uh, maybe uh, I should, uh, maybe, uh... uh, 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 uh,
listening. Maybe I should have. Uh... what Frank said I was. No, 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 no. That is not true, Karen. You know that. I know it's wrong, but I just want to make love to you. Oh, what does this say about me? What am I turning into? Wait, wait, wait. You're What's not turning on? into anything, Karen. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? Karen. What? Stop. I um, haven't really been um, honest with you. <laughs> what do you mean? <sighs> Look, I would would love to take responsibility for making you feel this way tonight, mm -hmm. but I can't. I had a little help. What kind of help? called desire, all right? It changes people's moods. It makes people do, well, what we're about to do. Oh, my God, so it's true. Frank was right all along. A and you were going to use one of them on me? So, uh, so I would sleep with you? <laughs> That's disgusting. That's like drugging a girl to get her into bed. I, I don't believe Karen, this. Karen, I didn't think that it was well, really... Well, you're damn right you didn't think. I'm sorry. Where'd you get this? And how do you know about these candles? <clears throat> okay, look. You remember that day in the recovery room when, when Frank went psycho? Yeah, yeah, of course I do. Well, it was because of this candle. I kind of... I know, I know, I'm sorry. I just wanted to see if it worked, okay? So I tested it on him. How could you do that? Because of your stupid prank, Frank ended up in the psych ward. What kind of sick person are you? I guess I deserve that. Actually, you deserve a lot more than that. Look, Karen. No, forget it, okay? There's no excuse for what you did. You're right, you're right, you're absolutely right, okay? And you have every right to be mad at me, but I want you to know why I did it. Well, it seems pretty obvious to me. No, 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 it, it wasn't for the sex, okay? Karen, I really like you, and I don't know if it was that I was missing Casey or what, but I just wanted to be close with you. Well, you picked one hell of a way to do it. <laughs> what you did was wrong, Ricky, and what you did to Frank was even more horrible. I had him committed because of you. I know, I know, I know. I was such a jerk for doing that. But I want you to know that that's not what I set out to do, okay? I went to the recovery room that day to, to tell him the truth, to tell him that it was this candle that was making him crazy. And he just got all up in my face and... I... I did something really stupid, and I am really, really sorry for it. At least you finally admitted it. I, I suppose I should be grateful for that. Yeah, and... I'm... I'm really feeling a lot better now that it's on the open. 
So what is it about this hunk of wax that makes people go nuts? I, I, I don't know. Well, it sure has caused a lot of grief. Wait, Karen, where are you going? I am going to run every test possible I can on this thing, and then I'm going to go to Frank, because he's going to be relieved to know that was the candle all along. And then we could get our lives back together. Hey, Karen, Karen. Um, this whole stupid thing about tonight, um, we could just forget it ever happened, right? I won't push my little cars out. Real, real, real good, Ricky. <laughs> Not only did you strike out, but you push her right back into Frank's arms. <sighs> definitely, definitely not one of your better dates.